A town of Bonneville has been selected to receive some unique leadership training. Now, it was one of 40 communities in Alberta chosen for the opportunity. The program allows residents to take a training program to help build their community. Fraser Snowden has more. The initiative will be available for 15 weeks to people in the Bonneville region. It was designed and is taught by Ian Hill, who is an award-winning change agent. Tanya Oliver says this is a great opportunity for the residents. Um, something like this would normally be hundreds or thousands of dollars for an individual to take, so um, it's, it's free and it'll really, it changes the way you think. Um, Ian's, Ian's program, he, the way he speaks, it just it changes something in your mind and it makes you really think about things differently. So. There are two different courses, one geared towards high school students and the other for residents in the region. Courses include five live video workshops, live video chats, and an online portal. MLA Genialescu says this could help change people's career paths. I hear that uh, the speaker is very motivational and even if we affect a dozen people, that means a dozen more leaders than we didn't have uh, yesterday. Oliver adds it is open to anyone who wants to try. Whether you're with a business or not, whether you're a stay-at-home mom or dad, whether you're involved with uh, sporting clubs or extracurricular activities or just have a passion for anything in life and you just want to improve yourself and, and get better, everybody should come out and do it. The program begins March 28th. For more information, you can visit their website at becomingacommunitybuilder.ca. In Bonneville, Fraser Snowden, Newcap News. The future of the Paradise Hill Community Centre is getting a major boost thanks to a donation from Husky Energy. A $50,000 check was presented to Paradise Hill officials on Monday. Now the centre will serve as a gathering place for the community, providing access to health and wellness spaces. Now the whole project is expected to cost about $4 million and so far $1.5 million has been raised. Construction will begin this fall and is expected to be completed by December of next year. Well, time now for this week's edition of Pet Project. Today we meet Cora and Spectre. Now, they are a dog and cat who have spent the most time at the SBCA and are looking for their forever homes. This is Cora. Cora is a one and a half year old female mixed breed. She's current on vaccinations, microchipped, and she's also spayed. Cora has been at the SPCA for four months looking to find her forever home. She's easily a staff favorite here at the SPCA as her tail is always wagging and she always seems to be happy. She loves to play with toys and socialize and she also likes a good belly rub as well as some grooming. Even though she gets along great with people, we suggest that she would do best in a home that doesn't have small children. We can assume that she's house trained as she never makes a mess in her kennel. She prefers to go to the washroom outside. Currently, Cora is the longest canine resident at the SPCA. If you think that she would be a great fit for your home, come on down and meet her. Meet Spectre. Spectre is a five-year-old male cat. He's neutered, current on vaccinations, and he's also microchipped. And on Wednesday, February 26th, will be Spectre's one-year anniversary here at the SPCA. Spectre is such an amazing cat. He loves to be held, cuddled, and when you talk to him, he'll speak back. Spectre would be the kind of cat that would love to just curl up with you on the couch. He also gets along great with other cats. He would be a great fit for any home. Spectre, along with any other spayed and neutered cat at the SPCA, has had his adoption fees waived. If you think that Spectre might be the great fit for your home, come on down and meet him. 